This is the Led Zeppelin 40th Anniversary Definitive Collection of Mini LP Replica CDs. It's a um, beautiful box um, with uh, stunning replicas. Um, this one is uh, printed in Japan in 2008. And the attention to detail is obsessive, to say the least. There's a lot of bootlegs of this floating around that are made in China. Um, and there's a website that tells you the difference. This is an original, thankfully. And we're going to take a good look at it right now. So, um, as you can see, the symbols are just on the box. And... Up like this, and you have the uh, CDs inside. Look absolutely amazing. Yeah, so this box set is um, probably the holy grail for collectors. The uh, debut album comes with um, two sleeves. Um, there's a disc in this one, none in this. Got the blue text, this one has got the red. Very, very nice. There's um, two, gatefold. There's three, um, gatefold with the uh, wheel that rotates. Fort Led Zeppelin album. Houses of the Holy. Another gate fold. Physical graffiti. Double cutouts. Presents. Song remains the same, the live album. And in through the outdoor. Um, this has five alternative sleeves, and guess what? They're all here. <laughs> but you get the uh, brown paper bag covering the one of them. Stunning. And the final coda. The um, collection of um, outtakes in 1982. Hey, so um, first let's up an album. Check it out. These are um, the Japanese editions with the OPs. Um, here you can see the OPs are kind of attached a little bit better than most. Um, disc comes in an inner sleeve. And then there's also a little plastic sleeve inside that. Um, original style label. And then you've got uh, plastic bags, can be dangerous. Um, to avoid suffocation, keep this bag away from babies and children. Uh, made in Japan. It's amazing detail, obsessive attention to detail. Uh, very, very, very cool indeed. Led Zeppelin 2. Um, this looks like it hasn't even been opened. It's a tight fit there. Um, wow. Look at that. 
again the US label similar to the UK release very very cool um, Led Zeppelin 2 is one of the uh, landmark rock albums um, fine album Led Zeppelin 3 there you go Sleeve here um, has got the um, has got the rotating wheel on. Got a, there's a wolf pack outside trying to kill each other. Led Zeppelin four. Um, The famous Stairway to Heaven on this. Nice gatefold. Oh wow. Oh, it's got the original card sleeve. Oh, that's beautiful. That is so cool. Ah, oh, the symbols on the label. That's obsessive attention to detail that you're only going to get from Japan. Ah, oh, it's stunning. Next up is Houses of the Holy. Uh, another gatefold. Um, that is the Joints Causeway in Antrim. So you can get the um, band going across the album because there was no title written or printed on the sleeve so they put in a band yeah. and uh, oh, the inner sleeve exact replica of the original that's fantastic absolutely fantastic Atlantic so I'm going to be the same. Yeah. There's a couple of songs in this that kind of irritated me. Uh, Dear Maker. And uh, The Crunge. I um, don't really like them. I know a lot of people will go mad over that and say, What? But... You know, Zeppelin, as good as they were and as great as they were, I just think those two songs annoy me. <laughs> and uh, I find them hard to listen to now. But overall, this is still a good album. Uh, next, we're up to the Mammoth um, Physical Graffiti. This was a, a double LP. Um, it was the kind of start of the mature Zeppelin. Um, great album, and uh, again reproduced here. Good form. Uh, the OB has to come off this, so you can get the um, the discs out. It's all complicated. Hmm. It's quite tricky. I didn't want to I'd try not to damage it. Um, it's not easy. There you go. Um, so just like the original, you've got the um, die cut windows. This is a Swan Song label, their own label that they set up. Um, yeah. The inside. 
insert. Hmm, really cool. Next up is presents. Um, again, gatefold. Um, there's even an embossed swan song down here. <clears throat> Seems like it was never even open. Oh, look at that. All the original pictures in the gatefold. Really, really cool. <laughs> oh, the, the attention to detail is just ridiculous. Stunning. And again, the Swan Song label. It's very, very cool. Now, the 1976 um, live album, the song remains the same, and this was the um, 1973 Madison Square, um, oh wow, it's got the same type of Oh, <laughs> oh my God, the book. It's exactly, I mean, this is just a treat, a feast for my eyes. Oh, Jesus. In heaven. Look at this. That is so cool. Um, that is absolutely beyond cool. Black sleeves. Swan song. Um... This is the original um, vinyl track listing. Uh, there is a remastered edition from 08, um, which has extra tracks as far as I know. Or oh, maybe this has actually, this has got 10 here. This must be the... Um, same running order as the uh, newer version, I presume. Hmm. There's five here. Fifteen. I'm not sure. I'm a bit confused about this one. I've got to double check. Um. So I have the other one. Wow! Look at that. Ah, yes. The discs have extra tracks, but the actual um, yeah, discs have all the extra tracks, but this has got the original track listing. So this is not totally correct. Um, there's more music on it that's not on the sleeve, obviously. So it copies the reissue with the extra tracks, the full concert. Uh, so there you go, mystery solved. And this is In Through the Outdoor, the final studio album. Um, this was recorded at Abba's Polar Studio in Stockholm. Um, 78, released in 79. Um, then John Bonham died in September 1980. Um, this looks as if it's never been opened. Whoever had this box set was not a fan of Final Zeppelin album. Um, I must say it's not my favourite. Um, the outtakes are actually very good. Um, it's just a bit light. Um, in the evening it's a bit repetitive. Um, it came in a brown paper bag. And this copies the exact... Oh, <laughs> this is... Just even the uh, serrations at the bag are there. This is absolutely amazing. Um, oh, look at the inner sleeve. Uh, perfecto. And then again, Swan Song. Um, this came with um, 
five or six different sleeves and in this set you get them all like I said so you can choose which one you want to use and put the brown paper bag back over it um, insane and uh, yeah but uh, really really cool whoops and finally there's Coda um, this was a kind of a roundup of um, outtakes and to tie up contractual obligations and it was released in November 1982 um, it was compiled by Jimmy Page um, again this seems completely sealed um, this wouldn't be a fan's best album uh, it's quite short um, but the thing is it's got some good stuff in it. We're Gonna Groove is good. Poor Tom is good. Um, I Can't Quit You Baby is a live track. Um, the date is wrong on that again, I think. Um, All Side 2 has outtakes from In Through the Outdoor. And they're great tracks. Um, that's the direction that Jimmy Page wanted to go in 1980. If Zeppelin rec recorded an album in 1980 or 81, it would have been very, very heavy. He, he liked punk rock and um, he just didn't like the kind of scent softy stuff that they were doing at the time. Um, here's the interior, look at that. Yeah. Again, oh, wrong way around. Swan Song. And uh, yeah, so meticulous. Um, absolutely meticulous. Um, I bought the uh, deluxe edition of this album during the week. It's got uh, two extra discs, and um, it's really good. I like it. Um, but this box set is superb, and I can't stop looking at it. The attention to detail, it's even got the um, embossed um, Warner Brothers logo. The um, 1970s Warner Brothers logo, embossed into the sleeve. I mean, uh, <laughs> that's fanatical. I mean, obviously the guys who made this were Zeppelin fans or lunatics, but the attention to detail is breathtaking. The sound quality is uh, very, very good, all remastered. Um, sounds great and uh, kind of, it's a joy to um, reinvestigate the finer details of Led Zeppelin. And this box set is definitely the way to go. So that's the Led Zeppelin um, 40th anniversary. Um, um, miniatures, um, mini LPs, uh, CD replicas, and um, it's a fantastic item. Um, you can pick it up. Make sure you don't get diddled with the bootleg because it's a shame. Um, because you could be paying a lot of money for it, and it's better to get an original. Um, it really is good. Until next time, take care, feel free to subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.